I had observed that salmon in, and trout in farming, they were given an excellent food, but they had a, a quality uh, problem in that they stored too much belly fat. But wild salmon and wild trout, they don't store belly fat. We decided to go up to my colleagues at the university in Tromsø and start starting studying the deposition of fat in experimental animals under very controlled conditions. But it was first on how the colonists oil affected the plaque depositions on the coronary arteries to the heart. And it worked very well against that. But in the group, the group of experimental animals, which hadn't got colonists oil, you didn't need to weigh or measure. You could see it with your, with, with your open eye that these were I wouldn't say they were at no belly fat, but their belly fat was very low compared to the others. You didn't need to measure anything. But the point was that these animals, they weigh the same. So the conclusion must be that the colorless oil has redirected the deposition of the fat in the body. And the uh, deposition of the fat didn't come from the colorless oil. That come from this diet they were eating. So the colonos oil is redirecting fat deposition or whatever you eat. That was the biggest. Uh, it phoned me because I said that that is what we expect. That is what I expect.